In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a file that can be laser cut and etched with text and detail to create a one-of-a-kind mirror. We will go over the difference between line etch and line cut as well as the beautiful outcome of etching on the back side of mirrored acrylic. You can design any custom project you wish and submit it to our site at www.cutyourway.com. First, we find our deer shape. You can look on any search engine, but I prefer Google. Just search for deer will suffice. If you're looking for something more particular, work on your search terms a bit. But this isn't a tutorial about how to search for a photo. I like that one in the top right corner. After you get to the point where it's just an image on a screen, you can drag it right into Inkscape without even saving it. To make the base shape for our mirror, trace around the whole deer as if you've printed it out and are cutting it out of a piece of paper. Don't worry about the line width or color for now, we can change that later. It's best that you can just see the outline. I prefer to use the Bezier tool to trace. It takes a bit of practice, but here's the trick. Click for your first point. Then while clicking the next point, hold the mouse button and drag it to make a curve. If you need to make a sharp point, such as the tip of the ear, end the line by pressing enter and begin a new line from the same point. Keep in mind, since we are cutting the deer out, don't worry about detail yet. As we trace around the shape, I always have one hand on the enter key and one on the mouse, so it's quick and easy to make sharp joints. When you reach complicated areas, zoom in so you can do a good job matching lines. Otherwise, you'll just have to fix it later. I mentioned earlier about tracing around the whole outside of the deer. Clearly not following my own advice, I will have to go back and fix this later by breaking the line. Later on, I redo this file correctly, as you will see. Since you're tracing this, feel free to change the proportions, add wings, make it as stylized as you want. I'm adding a cute little tail. Obviously the deer has a tail, but it's not quite how I would like it to look. You can make the ears bigger, the head bigger. This picture is just a guideline. And of course, you can draw the outline from scratch if you want. Now I'm going to do the detail on the face, which will be etched. Again, you can choose to stylize the eyes, make them bigger, smaller, closer, further apart. It's your own special look. I always find it easiest to do the drawing first and then go by the guidelines to assign everything proper color and width. Keep in mind what you are cutting out and what you are etching. It's better to have all the cutting lines separate from the etching lines because if you need to cut half and etch the other half of the same line, there are a lot of steps to breaking a line. See how I'm making the chin line separate from the head? If it was one whole line, I'd have to go and break it apart. But if I do the chin line separate, then when I select the chin line to do the etching and the other part of the head to do the cutting, it's really easy to set one to one color and the other part to the other color. You can use lines or shapes for extra detail. If you need to change the width of your line, you need to go to Stroke Fill Properties. I like to set it wide just so I can see it, and then when I'm done, I set everything by the guidelines. Now you need to zoom in to all the intersections and make sure the lines meet. If the lines do not meet, the piece will not cut out all the way from the material. Similarly, if the lines overlap, there will be cuts into your drawing. The plain arrow tool selects an object and modifies location and size. The node arrow tool lets you modify the points independently. For an easier time, check all the boxes that say snap to path, snap to intersection, snap to node. In the event you accidentally draw around something, you can break the line and reattach it where it is supposed to go. This tail will be cut off if I don't get rid of that line underneath it. To make a curve smoother, you can delete nodes by clicking on them and then clicking delete node. Now let's take a look at the guidelines. 225 RGB blue value will cut all the way through the material. For the line etching, we want it to cut through the reflective material, but not so deep it weakens the structure. Medium etch, 225 green RGB value should be fine. You can select the entire project at once, or pick and choose what you want to change. Since there is so little detail, I'm going to select everything first, and then go back and change the detail to green. 
If you know very well how you want your project to look in terms of etching and cutting, you can set the line to the correct color before you even begin drawing. It's very important to be exactly the right RGB code, otherwise the laser cutter will not recognize the line. The same for width. It must be less than 0.3 to cut all the way through and 100% blue. Etching also must be less than 0.3 and 100% green, red, or magenta, depending on how deep you want it to cut. Reminder, save your work often. The best file for submission to CutYourWay.com is a PDF. Now you could submit it like this, but why go through all this trouble without adding a bit of extra special custom text that looks amazing? It is important to note on mirror acrylic, etching looks best when done on the back side of the mirror, which means you will need to flip your project around in order to read the text from the front. In any case, this project is cutting out from the back, so the head will be on the left side, just like the photograph this project was traced from. First we will apply the text to a line. Select both the text and the line, then select text to path. Sometimes it can take a bit of tweaking, but make sure the text is fully inside the project or it will get cut off. Set your font and font size before you adjust the location of the text because your font and font size will affect where the text is. After you fit the text to a path, Alt plus arrow keys will move the text along closer to or away from the path. Now we need to give the text a green 0.25 outline so it will etch into the back side of the mirror and give it no filling. After you are finished with the text, it is important to group the text and the shape. Otherwise, when you flip the project over, the text will keep its settings on whichever side of the line you are using and it will not look right. Trust me, group the text with the shape. While holding the shift key, select the shape, select the text, go to object and group, or you can use control G for a shortcut. Also, with text, after you finish what you want to write, if the font is not common, please send us the font file as well. Remember to check spelling and punctuation. The beauty of vector-based drawings is that they are scalable without any loss in quality. You can make this mirror 2 feet wide and it will look just as good as the 6 inch wide version we are making in this tutorial. Each line is represented by an equation, not a series of pixels like a bitmap drawing. Think of it like the difference between an Etch-a-Sketch and an inkjet printer. One works on an XY axis and can go in any direction. The other works line after line left to right after line of predetermined pixels.